This episode is brought to you by Feels. Become a member today by going to feels.com slash CADCAST and get 50% off your first order with free shipping. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CADCAST episode number 648. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who also hasn't won, of game, won a game of Fall Guys, Wombat. I have not, but I am wearing my lovely new Bordeaux, Louisiana t-shirt. Shipwreck, what game is this from? That is from Mafia 3. Nice. <laughs> I, I, that is a fine fake video game t-shirt. That's a good one. Yeah, this is one of the better ones. Yeah. I, I, was, uh, I dug that one out this, mo- uh, this morning. No, this evening. Too many yeah. t-shirts. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm getting to the bottom. What do you start then? Like, uh, what, maybe, what happens when you get to the bottom of the t-shirt? I have some loot shirts that I can wear, maybe. Those are kind of fun. Then maybe, you know, we just move on to fun shirts. I can wear zoo shirts. I have a lot of zoo shirts. Too many shirts. Why do you have a lot of zoo shirts? Because when you renew your zoo membership, they give you a t-shirt. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes that makes sense to me. I thought you were just going to the zoo and purchasing <laughs> zoo t-shirts. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> honestly, one zoo t-shirt is enough. Right. But... Like, I was, like, if you're going to go to the zoo and get a zoo t-shirt like that's understandable mm-hmm. like hey i like that that fake teenage Mutant ninja turtles shirt that they made the zoo yeah the zoo um can't you retire some of the zoo t-shirts when you you know you eventually? know what they're oddly high not oddly <laughs> they happen to be very high quality t-shirts <laughs> and they're really comfortable they need to get you in one of their commercials yeah because it costs like 40 dollars to go to the bronx zoo so i know i renewed my membership this week I'm going on Tuesday, my first quarantine era zoo visit. Get the t-shirt box ready. Seriously. I hope it's a good t-shirt this year. Oh, you don't even know? This is a mystery? Yeah. They send you a coupon and you have to take the coupon to the zoo. And then there you're like, I have a coupon. Where's my shirt? And like, here, get out of my face. And that's it. Does the shirt come in a package where you can't see what it is inside? No, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would definitely hold on to it and open it on the, on camera. It's definitely going to be animals with face masks on. No question. That would it. actually be pretty awesome. Welcome back to the zoo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, welcome to the show, everybody. There was a lot of news actually recently. Somehow. There was There's, or there wasn't. There was. We have a lot of stuff oh, okay. to talk about. I feel. Yeah. I was looking at this outline and I thought. There's, yeah, some there's plenty. Yeah. Yep. 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 I have my follow up from last week. If if we're interested in hearing it. Follow up of what? I said I wasn't going to tell the story until things settled down and calm. Oh, everything settled and calm now. Everything's a little settled. You saw the boy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He, he didn't have a big bandage on his face anymore. Right, all right. Well, go. Well, you should tell the story immediately. Uh, well, just because a lot of people asked, they wanted to know how I was doing because of bummed I out said last week. Immediately. Okay. La- my about two weeks ago, my son slipped and fell in his room while climbing up to his bunk bed, and he split his chin open. And when I say split, I mean it opened up to the bone. I the, could see the bony goodness, the bones in his face. And as soon as he moved the towel out of the way, because you know he just took paper towels. And was covering it up. I didn't know until gross. they moved the towel. Gross! Out of the gross! Way. Wait a and, minute! And when I saw it, I immediately burst into tears. Gross! And uh, my wife had wait. My wa- what? We found something that makes one back cry. My, yes. My children in pain. Children and I in didn't pain know. In real life. It literally your child like, at least. It looked like a piece of his chin had fallen off. Like Ooh. it didn't look like it split. It like like Two Face from the Good Batman, from the Good Two Face. Sort Batman of, because it was yeah, yeah. Not Tommy Lee Jones, because it was all bone. He's yeah, very bony in that. Yes, and it was gross, and I screamed, and I said, "We got to take him to the emergency room immediately." And my wife just put him in the car with a big ice pack, and she drove off, right, leaving me and Sabrina behind. Oh wow! And, wow! And Your wife is because- awesome. Because she handles this much better than I do. She's I like, you're a mess. You're staying home. Wow. You clean up. I'm going. Call ahead. So I had to call the hospital when they went. Okay. They also, honestly, they in this day and age, the fewer parents that show up. Of to course. Yes, yes, yes. The yes. happier they Absolutely. are. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So 
we went and she went. The plastic surgeon was super nice. Elliot was super calm. Once they once they put a bandage on it, he calmed down. Right. And once you don't have to nurse, look at it, everybody yeah, calms down. Basically. And he had uh, 20 stitches, put it in his chin. Hey, did it look wow. like this at all? Yeah, kind of. The scene of the crime? Yeah. Uh, there was so, there was literally blood in every room of the house. Uh, Sabrina Sabrina actually like jumped right into action and cleaning up. Yeah, I she's give like her mom. so much credit. She did. She like her instincts, her, you know, instincts just kicked in on what do you do in an emergency? What do you do in this situation? And she started cleaning. I describe it. You see, have you ever seen John Wick? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You know the scene when the cleaning crew comes in? No. The guys in the black suits and the, the a lot of ball. blood is what you're saying. Yeah, right, right. I, that was my I, I house. Seen of John Wick. I, you could have t- said anything. Ever right. seen yeah. the whole Wick? thing is yes, blood. That's what it was like. So they patched him up. He got his twenty stitches. It's been two weeks. The bandages kind of, you know, bandages fall off after a while, and they're dissolvable stitches. Nice, good technology. It looks like he might have one stitch left, but for the most part, it's all just healed. Wow, no scar. Yeah, I mean, uh, he'll have a scar. Yeah. Like He'll Indiana have a scar Jones, right here under his chin, but it didn't just chin didn't fall off. It was just a split, which is good. He also lost a tooth, but it was a baby tooth. Right. And oh. what did he hit his chin on? Uh, well, here's the thing: he was he's not allowed to bring a laptop into bed with him. Uh oh. And he was bringing the laptop into his bed, oh, and he was fucker. trying to be sneaky about it. And the laptop is what split the chin. So you're saying he deserved it. Yes, no, but uh, but it was really awful. That's bad. I did cry. Yeah, of course. I'm and cry. I was worried for literally two weeks. I could not sleep for about four days after it happened. So it's rough. Well, I'm glad yeah, everything's okay now. Uh, everything seems fine. We're knock on something. I mean, we don't go back to see the plastic surgeon again until next Thursday, right. um, just to, for a follow up. Right. But. I mean, it looks much better. <laughs> he doesn't have bones sticking out of his face. So he, he doesn't have a better. coin that he flips when he wants to decide something. He does do that. Oh, but that might be a warning sign. Uh-huh. But uh, he's doing. Uh, he's That's doing all good. right. And at the day after the hospital, uh, he got to go to Target and go on a little mini shopping spree. So he was fine. Nice. All right. So the moral of the story is: don't bring the laptop into bed. It's. Mm-hmm. Listen to your parents is the moral of the story. It, yeah, yeah, that's a, it's a good moral. I'm gonna tell. But yeah, Ty. he's doing he's doing a lot better. And Ty, it, you know um, what? Ty brings his laptop into bed, and I'm gonna. Yeah, but it's that. not a bunk bed. But, he's got to climb up into it. Like something could happen. Like yeah. if he was very clumsy, <laughs> extremely <laughs> clumsy. So. And drunk. Mm-hmm. So you can't. Right. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad everybody. Laura did. apparently took a picture, and I won't look at it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, you don't, you don't but I could send it to you guys if you want to see the picture. I, I'm good. You I'm sure? Good on that one. There's I'm no good. doubt in my mind you would have passed flat out. Shit. Um, I no, I would have sprung into action on on that one. If it was me, if I knew my my chin was open, I know for a fact that I pass out. There <laughs> I've, I've done that. I know that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but me too. Was, yeah, if it was my kids, I I would not pass out. I'm. Yeah. I didn't pass out. I just was upset. I'll, right. I'll say that much. Sure. No, I would have. I would have run and taken care of it at the same time. Been been screaming for my wife, mm-hmm. but... who's a, a doctor. So you know that helps. Yeah, yeah. She <laughs> she would have grabbed the the kit and gotten something on there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's the story. But well, let's never speak of it again. <laughs> Rough. Yeah. Anything else going on? Everybody just. Sitting on their ass at home. How's yeah. the cabin, Chip? You've been back to the cabin? No, not since the last episode. I, right. I haven't. Are you going to have internet access there? Is that a goal? Or is that a uh, feature I, to not so have internet access? I have internet access. Well, I had internet access there because the previous owners had internet. But then this week they came and took the router because it was, it was a known thing. It was Right, right. They, they were transferring it. So they came and got the router. And so now I've scheduled service. Good. So, Wombat doesn't like when you don't respond to his texts. That that you can't be hard. responding two days later. That's just no. Not, it doesn't work that way. Not work. right. I'll, I'm. That's why I got it set up. That's the only reason I'm getting yeah. internet there. There's a lot I of that shit. I sent you guys. 
to I sent you guys both a bunch of texts today that you didn't respond to, but that's okay. We'll talk. That's what I'm saying. A lot of the shit I just don't want to respond to, and you got to come in and take care of business. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I was probably working. It's probably why I wasn't responding to your text today. I don't know about that. It's part of your job. You don't realize it, but that's really actually part of your job. Uh, Should we do some show feedback? Sure. There's a there was a lot of it. Okay. Thank you, everyone. We had a you know it was our fifteenth anniversary show, and a lot of people had very nice things to say. Like we, he just said, I can't believe I've been listening to this nonsense for fifteen years. Nice. Here's to fifteen more. An apathy lad who said, "Congratulations on the fifteen years, guys." I wasn't here at the start, but I appreciate having something to listen to for my drive to school. Things sure have changed. Anyway, it's cool to see the CADCast still being around through all these years. Some internet friendships don't last that long. I still look forward to the CADCast, even though I'm not driving around as much these days. So, that's right. We are just internet friends. Uh, (laughs) Two Kings has to say, (laughs) you guys. Everybody's just internet friends now. That's right. true. We were ahead of the game there. Yeah. yeah. We Even it. me and my parents and I are just internet friends I, at course. this point. Of course. Yeah. Two Kings has to say, you guys have the worst taste <laughs> in every genre of media. I don't want most, to be lumped in with this. Most especially movies. Congrats on 15 years of having nonsense opinions that 99% <laughs> of people don't and won't have. I'm proud of that part <laughs> either you know what's interesting because i know he's talking about the old guard that movie has like an 86 on rotten Tomatoes. i was fucking shocked but anyway that's neither here nor there do you know that's one of the movies that's one of the weird movies where like it's an action movie where i believe the rotten Tomatoes score is higher than the fan score is that accurate wombat Are you... oh i don't know i'm not I... looking at it now but oh. i believe you also i never said it was a great movie i just said it was fun and stupid there's fun. a you said it was fine yeah, it's not no. fine. I said it was fun and stupid. I gave it like a like a roll the tape. Hold on. Whatever doesn't matter. That movie is it fun was and stupid. the best movie I ever <laughs> saw. Exactly. I, I want to re- see it again and again, like cats. Yeah, eighty-one percent from the critics and seventy-one percent from the audience, which is still pretty high. But I'm just saying, for an action movie, you usually it usually yeah. goes the other way. I know. So what does that tell you? Exactly. I'm correct. Thank you. Uh huh. I love the podcast, despite your horrible taste. Shipwreck, keep up the smug, rich dude persona. <laughs> is that his persona? You. Smug, rich dude? Yep. He has oh. a second house. Uh, Chibi, so does Bernie keep, Sanders. Chibi, keep being an obtuse oddball that doesn't understand how calories work. And Wombat, keep being the most disinterested basic bitch you could be. <laughs> Of course, I'm only half kidding. I love the banter. Keep it going, you sick fucks. Speaking of the calories reference, I uh-huh. uh, was on Twitter as I, I am a lot these days, and one of my one of these table tennis leagues, like professional table tennis leagues, tweeted out, "Hey, you can burn this many calories playing an hour of table tennis if you weigh 150 pounds." And it was shockingly low, <laughs> so low. It was like. It was like 250 It was, it was shockingly accurate. No, no. Because there's no way. I mean, there's no way. <laughs> Meanwhile, the same fucking uh, Twitter account had a contest in April, like right when the pandemic was like, you know, fucking us. And they had a contest to make like whoever you made some stupid ping pong video and you could win a prize pack of some table tennis shit. And I won. I'm still waiting for my fucking prize from April. And was the prize they, supposed to be? It was a solid gold pink. No, it was um, it was some bullshit. It was like a, a jersey. Solid gold penis? Is that what you were about to say? <laughs> it was a ping pong battle, obviously. Oh, I thought you said solid gold penis. Um, that's that's a, be a great prize for you. The ping pong paddle for me. Hmm. Um, it was supposed to be a like a jer- an autographed jersey from with like from all the stars of p- table tennis, uh-huh. and. <laughs> <laughs> And, and oh, wait, you would have to sign your own jersey? <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. Hold on one second. The problem was, like, they're telling, and then they start telling me how great the prize pack is. I'm like, oh, and it was, and it wasn't just a jersey. You got like table tennis uh, cards, collectible cards, which may or may not have been autographed. I can't remember. But wait, the, the jersey, did I you believe- buy table tennis cards? 
this they play, they're in Singapore, okay? So Asia table tennis is popular. This this league do people is, buy like these are like wax packs of table tennis? Cards? I don't. It's okay. You will be receiving. Ooh, excuse me. You'll be. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. You'll be. Rece- I'm all excited about it. You'll be receiving T. Okay, the name of the league is called T Two. They have like the best production of any table tennis tournament. It looks really nice if you look it up on Arguably YouTube. Arguably the best Terminator. <laughs> and right, and that. T2 collectible cards and an autographed T2 diamond 2019 jersey. And I was very excited for that. And that was on April 10th or some shit. And I'm like, and I keep me emailing them, oh, send now they don't even respond to my shit. And I'm like, who's following them that even is, has, I'm like a C minus Twitter celebrity and I'm probably their highest, their most famous follower, except maybe Judah Friedlander if he follows them. Cause they're probably no one... still getting all the signatures. <laughs> oh, is that what they're doing? They, they stopped writing me back though. They don't even make excuses anymore. They're First... just shipping around that Jersey to all the top table tennis stars. Oh, is that? Oh, they better be fucking Timo bowl. Better deliver that shit to my house. No, no one's going to get that reference. No, no one is. <laughs> He's a, he's a German table tennis star. Good for him. Yeah. He's one of the few good. Oh, ladies. he was in Rockstar Table Tennis. I remember that guy. He, he was pretty he, tough. He was not. Oh. They don't have any real players in there. Those are the realest ones. I would I would take a <laughs> a jersey signed by the eight players or so that were in Rockstar Table Tennis. <laughs> that was still one of the best events I've ever been to. Oh, you went to one of those? T- yeah. I went to the one in Tokyo. I went to the one in New York where they had everyone playing on couches and beds. Yeah, that's what we did in Tokyo. Shake Shack. We didn't have Shake Shack. Oh, they brought in Shake Shack. It was literally the most Shake Shack I've ever seen in one place. And it was really good. And we played table tennis all afternoon and ate cheeseburgers. That's pretty good. Did you play actual table tennis? Uh, I played the video game table tennis because that's why I was there. Was Wally Green there? I don't know. He was the motion capture guy. Oh. But he was a, he's an African American. Okay. I met him and I hung out with him in Tokyo at at, at the event. It probably sure. was maybe it was at the, around the same time, so probably he wasn't they probably weren't flying him around. Mm-hmm. We played table tennis after the event. We went to a club. Cool. And he was really good. That doesn't surprise me. All right, well, there's a video on my YouTube channel probably on a really yeah. like old I remember that. Japanese cell phone. Um is that it for the show feedback? I had one more, but I could skip it. No, I don't want to skip it. I want All right. people to King see how Rock. great we are. King Rockin' LR says, always enjoy your show and the perfect balance of that's exactly how I feel versus these dudes are clueless <laughs> I get from you each week. You have just to like, get that. Just like I do for my friends in real life. Yeah. Cheers to 15 more years of hot takes. Love you guys. That is a good one to uh, to end on. To end on. I mean, I listen to how I've been listening to Howard Stern since I was in high school, and I don't agree with him on everything. I especially his movie tastes. His movie tastes are horrible, but I still enjoy his show and still listen to it. I think you, when you reach, and I think Cheapy will disagree with me, but I'll say it anyway. <laughs> Perfect. I, I think when you reach a certain age, there's a level of film watching where you just don't want to watch it anymore like i went through my phase of watching movies that would be considered art from like the age of 15 to maybe even like 28 where i didn't watch anything that would be considered frivolous oh why would you do that i don't know because i thought i was self-important and i was smug and now that i'm older and i don't care anymore i do admittedly watch mostly garbage because i don't want to think that much when i'm movies are so good now I guess. But I wouldn't even know where to begin with good movies. I mean, I talk about them every week and then you just... No, you talk about cheapy movies and those are not good movies. Don't worry. Old Guard is having a sequel. It should be out in two years. I know. I can't wait. Old Guard 2. <laughs> the oldening. Tell me my video wasn't amazing. I was you... glad that you made a video. I say I made you a video. I thought it would make you laugh. Did you tweet that out? I did. You did okay. not like it. I don't, I'm not glued to the fucking Twitter or my, I mean, I am, but not as much as I you. Say, a, that's a lie and B, that's a lie and C, that's rude. I mean, if we looked at our phone hours, we could just call them up and we could easily find out. I, mine are really high and I, I would be embarrassed, but I feel like yours would be even higher. I don't know. I could take a look. They might be. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's too depressing to even to go there. I don't know. Shipwreck's busy. He can't be looking at his phone all the time. 
But I also, I, I mean, I'm on computer, so it's right. I've got multiple computers going at the same time, so right. There's not really a, a need for the phone during the day. My my phone says I spent an hour and twenty minutes on social networking applications. No, you need the week the weekly thing report. You know, every week it gives you that report. Yeah, I know. It says your shit is up or down. And Twitter is definitely my most used app. Right. All right. Should we do while you look at that? Should we go to watch this bitches? Sure. Okay. Who oh, watched my. Game On? Is that the the video game documentary? That is the video game documentary With, on Netflix. Uh, voiced by Mario. Yes, Charles Martinet is the narrator. I watched the first two of six episodes. Okay. Uh, the first one was about the dawn of video games, the Atari era. And the second one was about uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System era. I remember these eras. <laughs> yeah. Um. If you know a lot, you actually might get annoyed at how much they skip around and what they skip over. Oh, you don't like that, though. You don't like it if they don't go in chronological order. And it's not even the not going in chronological order. Yes, that is a fact. I hate that in documentaries. Documentaries about history should go in the order of the history. Don't, don't worry about telling a compelling story. We need to know it. The, yeah, we need to know what happened. Order. That's why he likes the old guard. It's pretty much linear. <laughs> no, there's some and stuff. well, here's tell, I don't know. You tell me in the second episode about Nintendo, they go from <laughs> test market launch. Remember the test market launch in 85 mm -hmm. in Macy's in New York City? Yep. They go from that in 85, 86. And then they jump right to the Nintendo World Championships of 1990 with no discussion of anything that happened in between. There was nothing in between. <laughs> it's all blur. Just, just Too five much success. years. Blur. Just five years. And then they're like, yeah. And then the Nintendo World Championships happened. And that was the peak of Nintendo. Let me ask you this question because I watched the trailer for that. Mm -hmm. The narration is the narration good. I feel like. Yeah, no, he does a fine job. It's not it is, distracting. Okay. Yeah. It's, felt... He's not, it's not like N -n 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 Nintendo. No, I know hey, that. But it's it's just... me. It's just him making dying. grunting sounds, and you have to read the narration at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a Nintendo documentary. Mm. That's how they. <laughs> there's no voices. I, I mean, is this thing worth watching? It's on Netflix, right? So I'm, I'm not yeah. gonna watch it anyway. Right. You're, You're not gonna go. watch Good. it You're anyway. Uh, but six it, episodes doesn't seem like enough for anybody. Who, I, I mean, who lived I'm. It. There's part of me that wants to st that I'll probably st keep watching it just because it's something to put on before I fall asleep. Uh, but that's basically where it is. Like I watched that other documentary. I, oh, I don't even know what it's called. My wife put it on. I think it's called like Connected or something like that, where it, each episode they describe how something connects us all. And we watched the episode about poop. And that was more interesting than the episode about video games. How poop connects us all? Yes. Is it the sewers? Uh, that was they did go through the sewers. But also how, how you know, yeah, they showed a piece of poop that was like 2,000 years old or something like that. How I'm does like, that whatever. connect us? Are we all passing it around uh, or something? Basically, the, what's in the poop from 2,000 years ago is actually healthier than what's in the poop of most people today. And we could learn something sure. by Don't eat studying. french fries. It, yes, that is exactly <laughs> the, the poop isn't nearly as delicious as it is today. <laughs> also, we're putting, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, worldwide. People in cities use so many drugs that all the fish are high. That makes sense. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it is pretty funny. It's good. Like, if you're a fish, I feel like you'd want to be high. Yeah. I high. mean, you think about how much it must suck. Yeah, right. You're going to be sucks. eaten, probably. Yeah. Or get a hook through you. Mm -hmm. you might as well be like, whoa, check out that jellyfish. <laughs> uh, what, what else you watching, bitches? I... So Wombat and I got uh, out of the blue, completely mm -hmm. unasked, <laughs> press access to the DC television page. What? I don't know. The DC universe. Yeah. DC, because of this fandom thing that happens in two days. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I, I'm with Shipwreck. I'm not sure how we got on the list, but I thoroughly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. DC fandom, uh, which is they sent us these logins to their press credential sites. And it has everything on it for the press to view screeners, including the most recent DC animated films. Okay. And the most recent DC animated film is Deathstroke Knights and Dragons, 
which I started watching today. I'm about halfway through. I, By the I way, can I interrupt it. you for one second? You can. Yeah. The documentary, I believe you got the name wrong. Oh, did I get it? Is it called Game High Score? Is that what it's called? Why do I think it was called Game On? <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to show this thing. How come it's not showing? Oh, man. I was trying to give this guy credit. I have to look it up while we're doing a show. Netflix. Right. No, it is. It's called It's called High Score. You're wrong. Oh, it's called High it. Score, not Game On. Yeah. And it's still bad. So it doesn't matter. Bad? I thought you said it was good. No, I said it was good to watch before I fall asleep, oh. but I would prefer it if it was more linear. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. So anyway, I, right, I right. watched all of this. High story. score. I'll say it again. High score. Right. What is game on then? Maybe it's just something <laughs> I saw while browsing. <laughs> anyway, go on. Deathstroke. <sighs> oh, so yeah. Deathstroke, Knights and Dragons. I know you guys religiously watch all of these DC animated movies i've seen probably 95 percent of them i watched the new frontier again this week with elliot for the first time and he loved it that's probably the best of them okay so your I've children seen, aren't ready for it yet i've seen none of these right because these are cartoons for adults mm-hmm. yes um deathstroke is completely naked a nice. minute and a half into this movie how's his package uh you don't it's no full it's, it's buttocks yeah, oh it's, he's he's naked squandered opportunity he also slices a man up into about seven pieces. <laughs> yeah. And the pieces flop to the ground like a cut of steak. Yeah. Interesting. Um, while it's, his while his friend watches. Yeah. While um, his yeah. It's the worry he also dies right after that. <laughs> he kills um, a whole lot of people. He kills very a ton quickly. of a ton of people in this movie. <laughs> uh, so I'm not familiar with the quality of these. This one despite all the violence i was kind of bored a little bit watching it really it seemed... it's not the best one there okay. are some really good ones justice league doom is worth your time flashpoints worth your time the new frontier is worth your time mm-hmm. um this one is not may not be so much worth your time um i'm excited for the superman one that comes out next week so we'll be able to watch that one i'm excited for the batman death in the family interactive movie that comes out in a couple of weeks. So, you know, hopefully we'll be able to talk more about these DC animated movies. That's cool. I yeah. wish I had that. I could get I could help you out. How do you get like how do they deliver that? How do you watch the movie? It's just you log into a website and it's just there. Oh, the I don't stream. want to watch a movie on a website. That's not a good experience. You're not a good experience. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm telling you I am by not doing that, but not wanting to do that. You can I'm watch it on the mega the tablet. Opposite. You can watch them on the mega tablet. That's reserved for you can probably things. just uh, cast it over your TV as well. It's fine. I don't know if I want to. Don't worry about it. it. You don't have access. <laughs> That's a good call. It's not right. a problem you have to solve at the moment. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, <laughs> I just, yeah. So Wombat, definitely finish it. Okay. I think the second half is a lot peppier than the first half of the movie. The first half, I think they're just going way too deep into like Deathstroke's backstory. And yeah, a lot of what they show they also covered in uh, the season two of Titans. So if you've seen season two of Titans, you're like, but I just saw this. So oh, no, he's also sorry. old. DC likes to have old superheroes. Yeah, that's like a thing. Well, he is voiced by Michael Chiklis. We should mention mm-hmm. that. <coughs> the Commish. Awesome. Yeah, and his wife is voiced by Isles of Rizzoli and Isles. You know too much, Wombat. I looked it up because I was interested. Wombat, did you watch Teenage Teenage Bounty Hunters? Like I, I watched about a minute, literally one minute, and then I just got that. Might have been enough, off. actually. I saw her. I saw one girl in a car with a dude, and yeah. that was as far as I got. So this there's this TV show called Teenage Bounty Hunters, and it was one of the top shows on Netflix. And I was I couldn't quite tell. The tone of the show, so I wanted to check it out. In the first, if you, I wish you watched just one or two minutes more. While I'm at. has Sabrina watched this show? Uh no, she has not watched that. She's on to Brooklyn Nine Nine now. In the first, it's a more appropriate. In the first three minutes of the show, it's it's two are they sisters? I guess they're sisters, and they're at a Catholic. They attend Catholic high school. They're each in a car with their boyfriends, okay? One of the girls is conv- trying to convince the guy to fuck her, okay? She's got the condom. He's like, no, no, I'm very religious. 
And she's like, you know, come on already. Let's do it. The other one. And I'm like, holy shit. Like, all right, like this is like, this is like, uh, you know, watching Deathstroke's ass in the first minute. You're like, you just don't expect that. I thought this was like a light romp. Then they switch over to the girl in the other car and she's jerking off her boyfriend or she's, she just finished jerking off the boyfriend. I can't remember. And talking about her new technique that she has. And the guy's like completely fucking disinterested. He's just like, yeah. She's like, what's the, which part was the best? And he's like, oh, the part where I finished. And I was like, what the fuck is happening? And then the girls, they get out of the car and their cars are parked right next to each other. And the girls just like, they say goodnight and they get, the girls get into the car with each other. And it's, I was just like, what the fuck is happening? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if anybody was sort of shocked do they, by that. Do they bounty hunt? They do. Uh, they get like somewhat involved by accident in a bounty hunting thing. And it turns out they're very, not only very horny, but they're good at bounty hunting. And they become bounty hunters. With so is this guy. show supposed to be funny? Yes, I think it's supposed to be funny. I think it's okay. supposed to be like Porky's meets uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter. But, the you know, the girls are in high school. And they're horny. They're very horny, at least in the first five minutes of the show. I haven't seen the rest. But that's my review of Teenage Bounty Hunters. Howard Stern would love it. This is exactly his shit. I'll call him after this. <laughs> Let him know. I don't think there's nudity because the girls are in high school. So, th- I mean, supposedly it's, it's kind of weird. Like, I, aren't you supposed to feel weird? Like if, if I'm, I'm a 40, I'm going to be 47. Like, I feel like, shouldn't I feel weird watching high school girls have sex in a car? Catholic car? high school yes. girls in trouble. Yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> so like, why is this on Netflix? Like the top show, like, is it okay? Like, who's supposed to be watching this? Other high school girls? I just, oh. like, I was, I didn't understand what was happening. And I looked it up because I was like, this sounds like something that, like, guys made, but it's all, it's all made by women. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> Shipwreck, you in Wombat, you have daughters. You're going to have to, like, be on top of this shit. We had, uh, we, had, <laughs> we had a barbecue at Sabrina's boyfriend's parents' house on Sunday. Yeah? How'd that yeah. go? It was fine. They're nice people. Uh huh. I had a cheeseburger. Nice. We played Cards Against Humanity Family Edition. Oh, there's a... Okay. I was going to say. Family Edition. That sounds dangerous. Hmm. All right. Let's move on. That was a good Watch This Bitches segment. Lot, lot, I mean, a lot to talk about. My Watch This Bitches has been very diminished because all we do is play Ghost of Tsushima and and watch Umbrella Chronicle. Uh, not Umbrella Chronicles. Academy. And we finished that. It was good. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to give a shout out to Shipwreck for telling me about that um, home run call in the... Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I thought as part of Cheapy's Wide World of Sports-like stuff, I was I was very pleased to watch that video of the guy trying to apologize for his <laughs> his gay slurs. Uh, so, yeah, I, if people don't know the story of that, so... And this hits close to home. This is in Ohio. Yeah, it's, it's, Cincinnati. It's, our, it's our main it's broadcaster. It's, I mean, it's his he's guy. A, he's a famous broadcaster. This He does NFL... Well, he did NFL games and... He was the main Reds broadcaster. He's the Didn't. son of the the voice of the Reds for generations. Like he's back doing like a lot of car dealer commercials, probably uh, local car. He dealers. has yeah, he's got some some local ad type of stuff. I mean, he's a he's a nationwide broadcaster. That uh, yeah, he had his mic was hot coming back from a commercial, and he uh, he said some uh, some derogatory slang that uh was not said the tone of it was not said in even a way that you could construe it of like oh he was just lightheartedly saying something like right. with a friend right. it was like oh no that's you that's you bad not, don't do that yeah i didn't, I didn't actually that. hear what he said i only heard the apology after uh i he he said it was it just cut in like mid sentence, but he said, uh, what I think it was one of the fag capitals of the world. You're not supposed to use the word, you know, he's from Ohio. What does he know? Look, 
Oh, now no, you're I, gonna have to apologize. In the no, I'm the not. Show. I'm not saying <laughs> you're gonna get. To now you have to. Now you have to like. Oh, and GB hits a home run. I'm gonna do something I, awesome and then I'm just apologize. I'm so right. sorry for what I said. The <laughs> ball's going back. I I really didn't mean it. How could I? How could I say such a terrible? And the ball goes back. It's gonna be a grand slam. I am so sorry. What city was grand he talking about? Grand slam. Oh, I'm the I word. Do we not know what city he no, was talking about? No, because it was a it was a conversation that he was having with somebody else. It wasn't the other team that they were playing. Uh, I I Is don't. Is it know. one of those F cities? They they were <laughs> no. They were I don't know. It was uh they were in Kansas City. They were playing in Kansas City. Oh. I'm not um, sure about the population there. I'm not, no idea. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so so later in the game, like a couple innings later, he's like trying to do his apology, and it wasn't like it wasn't really an apology. It was like, a, oh crap, I've I've done something horribly wrong, and my career is in Over. jeopardy, right. basically. So right. he was he was saying like he was giving his like I'm a man of faith type of talk, and then while he's giving it. A Reds player hits a home run, and he immediately goes out of the apology oh and starts God. like, "And there's a drive." No, but it's the worst home run call you've ever heard. That's the key part. He's not good at home run calls. Anyways. Oh, they're all his are always like that, like his so are low energy. Pretty bad. Like he's not a very excitable announcer, uh, unless something negative is going on. Right. So, yeah, but it's like he has to. He's sitting there doing his apology. Like he could have kept going with the apology. It doesn't matter if the a guy hit a home run do your apology he's like talking about like he's going to take his headphones off maybe for the last time like but at the same time he's professional enough to be calling this home run it was uh, yeah it was pretty good we're never going to see that again you could never Him. time that better no 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 it's or like a worse movie. it's like it's a, it's the movie it's that. like naked gun part four you know he's like doing a, a eulogy yeah, for somebody would, and it's the like guy something that would run. happen in major league <laughs> yeah. like major league three Bob Euchre totally. would have delivered it better, though. Yes. <laughs> he would have got excited. He would have got fired up for yes. it, I feel. And for the record, I do not use that word or have that in my vocabulary other than describing he what somebody to... else specifically yes. said there. Right. We know that. Get your chair ready, Shep. It should look like this. I already have my chair. That's why that's I'm prepared. I have my apology chair. Right. I'm I'm good. Uh, l- let's move on. Is this another read this bitches or is this a little leftover? Oh, no, this is another one. So okay. last time there's more Transformers the- comics. Yeah, more Transformers. Comics. Transformers so- comics are becoming the ping pong of the shipwreck. Oeuvre. <laughs> <laughs> I read a lot of Transformers comics. So last time I brought up one that was a crossover. Uh, they currently have two different crossovers going on. They have the Terminator crossover, which I, I read at issue two of that. Um, and then they they have this crossover. And I'll hold this up. It's the Transformers and My Little Pony crossover. What? Friendship in Disguise. Friendship in Disguise. <laughs> My Little Pony. So we have very strong. Fluttershy. Ties. We must get the all spark. <laughs> Basically, yes. You've you've nailed who this comic is for, Wombat. <laughs> if if you know the characters, uh, this is. Uh, Emmeline likes Transformers. She likes My Little Pony. I don't know how many people are out there like that. I know that there's the bronies or whatever. Um, But this is a weird, other than it both being Hasbro, and both being in the Hasbro cinematic universe, Mm -hmm. of course. um, It's a a decent crossover. It it does the same crossover stuff as always. Like, they match up the characters. Who's fucking looking for My Little Pony, though? I guess the 40th is actually... Like I'm not a brony by any means, right. but as far as kids shows go, that one is written really well and voice mm-hmm. acted really well. Um, Great. Yeah. Okay. Good. So you haven't? Oh, you don't have Netflix, so you can't watch the new Transformers. It's probably better. It's I don't know. I mean, you got. Do you Rarity. want to watch the new Transformers? You got Rarity running around with RC in this comic. Oh, in the comic, yeah. But what about the? You're not interested in the Netflix series at all. I you told me it wasn't necessarily that good. Well, it looks it looks good though. Like if you turn the sound off <laughs> and just run for you know. I don't think you're selling this. It's good in the background of a, if you're having a party or something. Just 
have you know have the video playing i think it'd be pretty cool i don't know all right let's before we do new releases let's talk about feels do you experience stress or have anxiety or chronic pain or have trouble sleeping at least once a week you're not alone many people do wombat where was your feels when elliot fell off the bed i definitely we both needed that exactly what is feels well feels is premium cbd delivered directly to your doorstep Feel says it naturally helps to reduce stress, anxiety, pain, and sleeplessness. I got a um, a tweet from at L. Booten, who said he got his feels yesterday and he tried his first dose and wow, it helped him relax uh, so much. Thanks, GBD, Wombat, and Shipwreck for the recommendation. So that was nice. Feels is easy to take. And I can tell you from experience that it couldn't be easier and I will demonstrate Right now, it comes in this nice packaging. They sent me some more because I asked. And all you have to do is take this medicine dropper, put it underneath your tongue. Look, it's great that we have video now. I feel like mm-hmm. we should ask I'm for more. I'm watching this. should ask for more money. This is the most exciting thing I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Just a few drops under your tongue. And you let it sit there just for a little bit. It tastes good. I like the taste. And uh, that's it. And you're done. Do that right before bedtime. You're good to go, Wombat. It's hard to talk, though. Okay. Cool. Uh, feels works naturally to help you feel better. There's no high hangover or addiction. And if you're new to CBD, Feels offers a free CBD hotline and text message support to help guide your personal experience. So join the Feels community to get Feels delivered to your door every month. You'll save money on every order, and you can pause or cancel every time. Become a member today by going to feels.com slash cadcast and get 50% off your first order with free shipping, that's F-E-A-L-S dot com slash CADCAST to become a member and get 50% off your first order with free shipping. Thank you, Fields. All right, new releases. Yes. Mm-hmm. Have, have we all played uh, Battletoads? I Ow. did. I played uh, Battletoads last night and a little bit before the show. I forgot to play Battletoads. Oh, I thought we would all would have played Battletoads by now. If you I told me to play Battletoads, I would I didn't think it. I'd have to tell you to t- play Battletoads. I'm kind of with Shipwreck on this one. <laughs> I need to be told. I need to be given mandates. Otherwise, I... Not only that, but I things. even tried the couch co-op. Okay, I, I haven't tried the couch co-op yet. And I don't think it... It's it's not something that anybody in my house will want to play with me. Why? Elliot wanted to play with me, so we played together. It's difficult and not oh. something that Gretchen would like oh, okay. to play. So Mrs. Oh, we're TV playing got. on tadpole mode. How so? Battletoads has always been uh, on the difficult side of mm-hmm. of games. Obviously, um, it, it's playable, but it, it's you have to pay attention while playing it. I would say. Um, so they very much structured it. I I don't know. I'm like three levels in, four levels in. Mm-hmm. I like might be. I think I'm two levels in. So okay, so have you even gotten to the speed bike portion yet? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, we so, we just finished that before the show started. So that goes on for way too long. <laughs> yes, it does. It's a um, lot of uh, speed biking. Yes, that like I, if I was making a Battletoads game, the the beat 'em up stuff is fine. Like it it does well, and the animation is fun. The way the different characters have different moves and they have their big mutated like feet and weird animal morphing stuff and everything. Um, it, that part's really fun. It looks nice. Uh, the bass, the boss battle is just like any one of these beat up game, beat them up games. You, mm-hmm. you get the patterns. It's pretty, pretty easy. Then it goes to the speeder bike. And obviously the speeder bike levels are iconic for battle toads. But if you're making a new one, you just touch on that a little bit. You just go like, and here's our little speeder bike thing. Maybe you make it hard, and but make it short. They Instead, they've made it like not so hard, <laughs> but it goes on for like 10 minutes of speeder bike. I love that. Um, Sounds like Bayonetta. I, I mean, yeah, it's like I, I get what we're doing here. I don't need to keep doing this for... Right for this long it's like punishment it yeah it's 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 a weird mixture i'm hoping like 
that was their one aha we got a speeder bike level in here um but i'm afraid it's going to be like every other level i bet it comes back speeder bike. yeah um, yep but it does look good it does it does look good the humor it hits sometimes sometimes it misses for me but i find sometimes it looks a little too flash gamey hmm the it, animation it's got a lot of teen titans go influences to it right i guess is that what it is it, it, but yeah it kind of looks like it, it, it at times it's a very pretty game but also it looks like it could be a little i don't know 2008 flash game animation like on those cutscenes. oh I, I think it's well on the cutscenes. yes the gameplay itself i think is really nice looking um but i don't i'm happy to be playing another battle toads it's mm-hmm. it's fun it's nostalgic I, I'm upset that Cheapy didn't play it, but I only play PlayStation now. Oh, uh, I see how it is. Sorry. <laughs> All right, what else do we have on here? Um, they made another UFC game. They they did make another. <laughs> how is the new UFC game, Cheapy? Oh, that I had plenty of time to play. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I saw that it was out for PlayStation Four, so <laughs> I knew my, it was fair game. It's my jam. <laughs> uh nah, that's you know, you know. I can't comment on any of these. Except you know. What else is there this week? I've been playing uh they sent me a code for PGA Tour 2K21. Mm. Oh nice. Um I've played three tournaments so far. I didn't even that. know that 2K made a golf game. So it's HB Studios who that made means uh oh, the, they made the golf game, I think is the name of their golf games. Um They've been making golf games. They've put out two different versions of it. I think it's the golf game. Is that what it's called? It, it was right. one that had official courses, but it wasn't tied to the PGA previously. Um, let me look it up. There's golf a golf game. game called Golf Game. Uh, let me see. H- sound right. HB Studios. You know who HB Studios is, of course, right? No. They, Harry they Bob. Little, <laughs> they, they made a little game called NBA Baller Beats. Back, back in the day you mean oh baller beats yeah yeah yeah, yeah. classic <laughs> so are they gonna put you in this golf game <laughs> wrong game you can, i put myself in this in this golf game they uh the golf club that's what the name of their game was the golf club ah that's awesome but now they have the pga license and it's been uh 2k'd up a bit not not to the point where you're you're buying cards and everything that stuff doesn't seem to be in here mm-hmm. um but it's I, playing three rounds of it, I think it's a very chill, relaxing golf game. So I, th- I think having made three of these so far, this one, they they know how to make a golf game at this point. It's, it's, I think it's good. I like it. Yep. I was just thinking about golf games the other day. I was thinking about Lynx 386. Do you remember that game? It was on, only on PC, 386. I played, I played a lot of Lynx games. Yeah. I don't know if I played that particular that was the first one i'm pretty sure but yeah yeah. i like golf games there's there's something very mathematical about them i remember liking arnold palmer golf on the sega genesis sega genesis what else we got this week um we have i've I've played a little bit of another game on this list uh Mm -hmm. bite the bullet (laughs) has anybody else played any other games i feel like i'm the one playing games uh nothing that we could talk about this week right Oh, you, you got Cyberpunk? Also? Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got Cyberpunk and I've been playing it nonstop. Shh, it's crazy. Can you read the thing? Oh my God, I can't believe how crazy <laughs> Cyberpunk is. There's that part when the guy's head explodes yeah! and you see in the pieces, they hit like the screen, like it slaps against the glass and then it drips down. It's pretty gnarly. It's and that happens. That's the whole game. They didn't mention how the game is just gore every five seconds. <laughs> And ass, man ass. Oh, yeah. Lots of penises. <laughs> it's uh, penises and blood. Right. Yeah. So so speaking of, of, of that, I guess, uh, I've been playing, <laughs> playing a little bit of Bite the Bullet. Yeah. Um, are you guys familiar with that game at all? The game about the bloody penises. Yeah. Go yeah, on. that's the one. Uh, so Bite the Bullet, it's a Metroidvania style Contra metal slug type game okay um it, with a metal slug type of graphic type of looking that that type um 
so it's got this mechanic though that's kind of uh weird where if you shoot enough of the the enemies whatever you're fighting against monsters humans doesn't matter oh this is the eating one right yeah so if you stun them enough then you can go up and just start eating your enemies and you gain different powers based upon that as you're going through the the levels and everything that's weird uh it's weird It's, it's fun I can see that being fun. Yeah, it's it's a I think it's like twelve dollars, ten dollars, something like that. Um, it's a nice little indie game. It controls well. It's it's fun. Um, I I think that one would do very well if it eventually came to Game Pass. Yeah, it's definitely a Game Pass. I started playing a little more of the Tourist again, by the way. How's oh, that yeah. going? I haven't finished it yet, though. Well, I. The tourist is what I was playing when Elliot had his accident, and it was hard for me to go back to it. So, Bad but memories. Elliot's like, "You should keep playing it. I really like that game. It calms me down." And I'm like, "I guess I have to play this again." So I went back to it. I need to finish the mines. Oh boy! Yeah, I'm up to six. I did six of the ten floors. So with the mines, um, you can first of all you can rotate the camera. Yes, that I know. So do, do that. Um, and after, like, you can fall quite a bit without dying. So if don't do the rope stuff because the rope stuff, it, I mean, you have to do it a little bit, but the rope stuff can be wonky, finicky to grab yep. all the time. Yep. You think you grabbed it and you didn't? Yeah, that's happened to me if you did. So a lot of it, once you know where the platforms are at, you could just fall. Mm-hmm. So do that. Okay. Pro tip. Gotcha. Thank you. Have either of you tried uh, Undermine yet, which I recommended last week? I have not yet. You guys stink. Underpants? What? Undermine. No. The Children of Morta esque roguelike oh, right. that I recommended to you last week. It's hard to keep track of all these games. It's too many games. Too many t shirts. It's, it's on the thing. It's on the, the Game Pass. I know. I didn't check in. Some people. What else? That's it. That's it. it. I don't yeah. know. That might that might be it for. for we kind of leaked into. I kind of leaked us into uh, Wombat's uh, fortnightly news, talking about old games. So what? Huh? Oh, some somebody oh, in the Spirit, chat. Yeah, yeah, someone brought up Spirit Fair. That's also a new. Re- that is a new release this week. That's also on Game Pass. I did play a good amount of that actually. <laughs> oh, okay, good. I, I, I downloaded forgot. it. I'm was Spirit Fair to at your. I mean, was a painkiller at your house? Yeah, seriously. Spirit Fair is uh, is really good. It's one of the best looking games I've played in a long time. Really, it, what is this? It shit? looks like fluid animation. It's the character designs are very uh, Miyazaki esque. Is him. how I would describe it. Uh, this is a game that was at the Xbox conference uh, yeah. at the last E3. You oh, I know are, this game on the boat with yep. the ghost. Y- you're the on the, the you're the girl on the boat with the kitty cat, and you have to ferry people to heaven. I, I, that's the, the that's a Game the, Pass game. It's a Game Pass mm-hmm. game. It's I like it because I like what I've played. It looks great. I'm not a huge fan of resource management games. And it's getting a little heavy into that. Like it starts off pretty slow, but now that I'm sort of heavy into, don't forget to water your crops and don't forget to build a house for this person. And you got to find all these materials. I'm like, okay, it's maybe it's too much at once for me. Mm -hmm. But if you want to play a very unique resource management game that doesn't look like any other game like it, then definitely give it a shot. It's on game pass. So it's worth checking out regardless. Spirit. Um, yeah, is that I mean, um, any co-op at all? Game. Or no, 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 it's no. single player straight up. It's single player straight up, but it's also I think could be entertaining for someone to watch. I know that's a concern for you. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. Uh, last week we talked about Apple versus uh, rather Epic versus Apple and Google. Mm-hmm. There are some developments since we last talked, right? Uh, well, Google's now worth all the money in the world. Oh, Apple, I mean, sorry. Right. Apple's worth all the money. A right. bajillion so, dollars. Is that the number? So that means they're really concerned about Fortnite? I, yeah, it's interesting how this is all going to play out. I, I I mean, I think I have an idea on how it's all going to play out. But, What's the idea? Uh, Fortnite's not coming back to Apple devices. 
Well, isn't Apple talking about taking all of Unreal? Yeah, they're off, set, and now they're store. starting to pull all of all Unreal Engine. Well, that's not games. what's happened. They're not pulling anything, isn't it? More like they won't. Epic won't be able to develop the Unreal Engine for the Apple devices, so anything that's on right, there but, already won't be able to be updated. Or I think, right? It, Is it's that like the, it's yes? I think that's the gist of it. And like going forward, yes, they wouldn't. It, it would basically make it so developers wouldn't use Unreal if they're coming to the Apple, Apple platforms, Store, right? Or Google, which is crazy. I Dude, mean, right? and and uh, Epic is trying to get the courts to say that they can't do that, but it's pretty weird. It's definitely weird. It's definitely weird. It's definitely unusual. Uh, it's weird that it's this is such an out in the open thing and that this didn't happen behind closed doors whilst with nothing happening in either storefront but right i feel like some i i there must have been talks right there must have been talks for months maybe years oh there's a free fortnite cup this is breaking news wombat yes august 23rd I, sunday you can win you know about this already I saw the link in the oh. chat, oh, okay. and it's a tournament. And if you get ten points in the tournament, you get the free bad apple skin. Oh, oh really? Sick this burn. Another... That's a good idea. You just rile yeah. them up. Keep riling them up. That's yeah, a good just idea. Keep... This is working great for you so far. Right. Yeah. Apple's announcing that they're worth two trillion dollars, and you're like taunting them. And you're taunting <laughs> them, and they're trying to make it seem like they're the little guy in this, which they are. But that's like saying uh, not much. Yeah. It's, it's it's Hulk Hogan fighting Andre the Giant. <laughs> right. Yeah, it could go yeah. either way. Right. <laughs> it's just again, there's so much weirdness with this. I don't want to. Right. I I have a question. I, th- I think it's unfortunate more than anything else. I think Fortnite should be wherever they want it to be. I th- hope that Apple and Epic come to an agreement and everyone's happy again. It's just very strange. I thought Shanafan had an interesting comment. I don't. I didn't actually cut and paste it, but I'll just paraphrase it. Um, he thought it was sort of hypocritical for Epic to be saying like, "Oh, Apple is like uh, bullying and holding things hostage," where Epic actively tries to recruit exclusive games for their for their game store. Um, and I was I read that and I was like, "Oh, that's a ridiculous thing to say." And then I was thinking about it. And it's not, it's not that a, it's not that different, really. You you have your own store. You set the rules. You can lock down exclusives to your benefit and to your competitors' detriment, just like Apple. Well, Apple's locked down everything for their. Dev- I mean, it's yeah. I mean, I mean the the main difference is that they also have the hardware. They That's control the, the hard. It's their hardware that people are buying. Sure, right. And there's no other store. There's not there's another no other store, store on fronts. on Xbox either. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah. We that was another thing. Yeah. Ben Gilbert brought that up. Our good friend Ben Gilbert brought that up. Why? Why isn't there an issue with Fortnite and Microsoft and Fortnite and Sony? And you know what's the what's the reasoning there? And you know the maybe they've negotiated better terms. I, I'm thinking that it may, I mean, again, this is based on nothing, but, you know, guessing. I think there's better back-end marketing they get from the consoles. Right. You know, you go into the store on the Xbox. Fortnite is usually on there somewhere, a little front and center. And it's same with the PlayStation Store. It's that probably a money with... maker for them, and I mean, while Apple, yeah. they're a bigger, they're a bigger fish there. I mean, those devices yeah. are meant to play video games. That's what I mean. Yeah. So no there's... Apple devices are video game first devices. So there's probably a little more symbiotic relationship where they feel they're getting more for their thirty percent, right. as opposed to Apple, where they get they're paying them thirty percent and they get nothing. Right. Um, oh, Bob. Bob Ross well, writes, yeah. Epic CEO says consoles are highly subsidized and they do co-branding. So there's more value add for the, that's uh, what I just said. Yeah. He just So there you go. Say someone in the, but, in the chat agrees with me. So let me, okay, let's just say all things are equal, but mm. at, you know, Epic's getting their exclusives for the Epic game store, but Epic decides, Hey, let's make our own line of PCs. 
and have our own and put we'll install our store on every PC, Epic Game Store. Um, is that any like better or worse? I guess if they locked out all, if they locked out Steam from their Epic PC, that, that would be, would be that would be the same as what Apple is doing. Right. But yeah, I think they're just like they're so used to like they have the Unreal Engine, right? And everything mm -hmm. runs off the Unreal Engine. Pretty I mean, much. You have, you have Unity. You have people who develop their own internal engines, but the vast majority of games run off Unreal. All the all the big stuff, at least. Um, so they're they're used to that being a pretty big playing card for them. Where if you look at Apple Store, eh, Unreal's not really like right. running a a whole lot. Right, they don't care. It's not going to affect no. them at all. Yeah, it's good to be the king. Yep. Oh, and the season ends uh, in a week, so it's going to be really interesting when the new season launches. And they're not on mobile devices. It's going to be, especially if the new season rumors are true and it's a Marvel themed season, which would be probably the biggest. It's probably the most money that Epic has had to spend on a season because it's fully licensed. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, how that all fall, falls, falls out. Yep. But I am looking forward to Wolverine. Nice. Uh, what else we got here, Wombat? There's a new Call of Duty game, I see. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Does that take place in the eighties? I hope so. I haven't I didn't I don't really care. I oh, it takes place in nineteen eighty five Miami. Alright, cool. Yeah. Like what I mean you're just shooting people. Yeah. <laughs> it's He's gonna have around. a lot of that eighties style. We shoot people. It's, Synth wave yeah, music. It looks like it's it looks like it's eighties just based on the trailer. Something in the air tonight just plays on a loop the whole game for seven hours. Yeah, they just took the Vice City soundtrack. Mm -hmm. uh, did you see, I don't know what the latest on this, but Fall Guy, the game Fall Guys uh, are soliciting people to donate the charity to get their brand in the game. And okay. the last I checked, it was up to like, what was it? It was 400,000? I'll take your word for it. I don't know. Maybe the chat knows because I haven't been following it that closely, but I saw it got oh, to be a lot. I think I think it was like uh, Ninja versus some YouTube guy who's worth a billion dollars or something. Mr. Beast. I mean, once they I feel like this is great for them to actually sell this to uh, real advertisers because they can show how crazy people got for it and say like, oh, look how valuable it is to be in our game. We get some some guy with blue hair to pony up 400 grand. It's going to be good. They were making a lot of money. Some guy with blue hair. Right. Some guy. Some guy on Mixer. Um, nah, I don't want to talk about it. Did you watch this Burger King this Twitch thing at all? I have no idea what you're talking about. You might like this. Uh, what do you think about this? So, you know, okay. I, Wombat, you don't watch Twitch at all, so I have to explain it to you. No, yeah, you explain it but to me. But people you know, tip the streamers and a lot of the streamers have it set for the message that comes with the tip to be read automatically by the computer, like text to voice. You understand? So people say, Hey, uh, Billy, I love your stream. Here's $5. So some advertising company figured out some, not some Ogilvy, I think, right. That's a big advertising company, right? Want that? Yeah. Yeah. Are you listening at all? Or are you just, yes. Ogilvy. Uh, yes. Burger right. King. I know you like ads, adver advertising. So this is, mm -hmm. So they figured out, hey, this is a great opportunity for us to advertise for, for cheap. And they started buy, buying like, you know, $5 tips for pop, for streamers. And they would just read Burger King ads. It would say like the, the message would be like, here's $5. You can use this to buy a, a Whopper. Two or, Whoppers, I think. Yeah, whatever. They have, yeah, they probably have some special there. I think they have the special going Yeah, right it's now. two Whoppers for $5. So they did this on a bunch of channels, and the streamers are like, what? They don't know what's going on, but at the same time, they want they want the money still. Mm -hmm. But they feel weird about it because they feel like, hey, this is Burger King. Shouldn't they be, like, paying me more? Than right, just... actually paying for ads? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, but yet, they the door is why they just, everything happens automatically, and there's right. no way to stop them unless you turn off the... Uh, the thing, so I was watching it and I was like, this is brilliant and horrible at the same time. And the and it's great because the streamers, it's like, 
it's like a struggle. Like they know it's horrible too, but at the same time, this is how they make a living and they just they just need to have that shit come <laughs> fast. I've just been waiting for the king to enter our chat the entire time. I've got to be honest. Yeah, I want Burger King in our chat room. How do we get that? I, I we have you have I think you have to have on those donations messages to be read. That's what they're interested oh. in. Oh. If you don't have that, and you probably have to have more than 75 people watching. I'm thinking. I don't know, actually. I haven't. But I watched that thing and I was like. Although uh, yeah. Ship doesn't eat Burger King anymore. so Because he got the shits from it, right? He got, no. he got food poisons. Oh. Both ends. Yeah, well, shits, <laughs> that counts as the shits. Yeah. yeah. I guess. Oh, and according to the Fall Guys Twitter account. Yes. At Hello Tushy may have won with a $420,000 donation. What's Hello Tushy? Is that a streamer? They, no. Is that the, that the ass is, wash thing? Uh, it's a... Ass wash. Yeah. Bidet, right? They advertise on Howard Stern. Uh-huh. Tushy Bidet. Saving your butt, the environment, and the world. Good. I support that. Yep. People should know tushy. about that. And, and they, uh, the costume they want says, uh, ask me about my butthole. They're gonna be a bunch of people running around Fall Guys with an "Ask Me About My Butthole" T-shirt. That's it's so funny because that's I'm pretty sure that's an American company, and you know the Japanese have been running this game for a long time, but they're so they so don't know how to advertise it in America because they can't just come out and say like, "Hey, come wash your ass. Your ass is dirty." So they just dance around the subject, and people don't even know what the fuck it is. And now Tushy's moving in, and they're in the Fall Guys. I'm pretty sure you can. I think you could say this washes your butt. No, you can, but people f- pe- people don't like it. Like the, I remember the last time I saw a mainstream. I don't think ad. that's true anymore. Maybe, I think but do they even advertise anymore? Do you see Toto advertising? No, because yeah, this, they saying. just don't advertise. They it, don't know I don't what to they do. They can't. No, they did. They had a whole campaign. It was called "Clean Is Happy," and they just danced around the whole thing. You went to the website and you saw like some water shooting out, but you don't know what the fuck they're talking about. You got to show some ass cheeks. Like Whatever. Deadpool. Not Deadpool. Deathstroke. Deathstroke, yes. <laughs> Clean his ass, right? Same out. thing. Slade Wilson, Wade Wilson. Not much of a difference. Exactly. There's a pretty big difference. <laughs> <laughs> not really. One's funny. No, one of them is. One guy has swords and a mask that covers his whole face. I think the, the personalities the guy... are, the, are the biggest one. Yeah. Yes. Visually, they, they are the same. Well, visually, Deadpool was supposed to be a satire of. Death yes, stroke. and yeah, the satire me. is better than the original. Yes, that's the irony of the right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Uh, Reticent Spruce in the chat wants to know, like, I don't wants to know how I feel about being back in the U.S. where we don't have these toilets. We do have these toilets. That's the whole point. You don't have to just clean your butts with nothing but toilet paper. You can buy them in America, but there's no marketing. That's my whole point. Got to get on it. Yeah, Tushy's doing it. But they're all sold out anyway. They sold out during the toilet paper, the great oh. toilet paper shortage of 2020. <laughs> yeah. You can't even buy a bidet anymore. So it doesn't matter. Right. They are in standard is what Reticent Spruce is saying. Okay. They should be. St- right. Like when you go, when you're in Japan, like all the, even like the restaurants have them, public toilets have them and like shopping malls. Yeah. Yeah. You, I, they're not standard. You're right. It's people don't know. We need to get the word out. And I've been like trying. Like and cars. They Major be Nelson's been trying. Not. But there's only so much we can do. We're just two white guys who like a clean ass. Who doesn't? Trying to sp- with podcasts, trying to spread the word. Uh, let's move on to Sony. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima is getting a free online co-op mode later this year, which is very exciting. What's that mean? It means you're gonna have. It's not gonna follow the story. It's going to be. F- there's gonna be like different class of characters, and you play four player co-op to fight. Myth, uh, uh, mythological uh, Japanese ghosts or something mythological ghosts or mytholo- some animal uh, monsters based on Japanese mythology how about that uh, and I'm sure there'll be you know it's free to play so I'm sure there'll be a lot of skins to buy and sounds- who's your favorite uh, Japanese mythology creature? oh Mothra <laughs> he's fucking awesome I'm gonna fucking slice the shit out of him I don't know how I'm going to get up there, but <laughs> the other three guys will throw me up there. Right. He's going to get tired at some point. Like, they yeah, can't fly he, forever. You know what? We'll get a big light. Put it right Ooh. on the ground. 
and come that's right the down. mission is you have to get the light the batteries to make the light work so that mothra comes down and then you can stab him i uh, i'm looking forward to that it's gonna be great we love this game play it all the time shipwreck why have you not started playing it yet you own it play it yeah i i, I want to hear your thoughts about it i will have thoughts about it when, when? I play it when After people I play it well when will that be we need to know Next week, you could play a little? Yes. <laughs> I will play by next week. See, you got to really pin this guy down. Otherwise, just fucking play Lego Batman. I got some more, some more golf tournaments to play. <laughs> exactly. oh, I've, I been, to, I've well, been playing a lot of Lego Batman. We've just about finished Lego Super Villains. I believe it. We've also been playing through Lego Avengers, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, right. and... That might be it. Wait, no G- Lego Star Wars. GBZ uh, in the chat. No Lego Star Wars yet. Sorry, GBZ in the chat says that he read that the Ghost uh, Co-op will have no microtransactions. That seems unlikely. How are you gonna? Why would you do that? I think I thought it was just free if you own the game, not free for. Everybody. Yeah, I'm sure. But even still, like, why would you? Because it's because you already they already have your money. But they but they want to make more money. I feel. I think they just want you to pe- keep playing the game. They don't want you to resell the game back. I don't think yeah. they. I don't oh. know. I feel like. No, I know. I'm sure. I'm sure it's it's free if you own the game, but they're gonna want to send. Don't you? They're gonna want to send you a sell you a fifteen dollar fucking have, samurai outfit. I don't have. I don't have your stupid game. It's not my game. I bought it. I don't have your stupid game. Well, go buy I it. I don't like samurais. Oh well, then don't buy it. You're not gonna like this. <laughs> I only like ninjas. You know they try. See, I feel like. That's it's, the it's, one thing missing from I this play, game. Every time I play as a samurai, I'm like, why is MC Hammer trying to cut this guy's head off? Wait, what? They all I wear mean, hammer pants. No, what? That's what they all look like. They no, all look like you can change your hammer. pants. You can choose what you wear. They look like they're wearing hammer pants. You can choose your pants. And big hats. And you can choose your hat. It's like it's like a grandma going to a hammer concert. You basically a samurai who is becoming a ninja. That's the that's the basically the premise of the game. But it's dishonorable to use the ninja tactics. But he's gonna fucking do it anyway because this. You see how many guys there are. It's gonna take all day if you want to <laughs> use the sword. You better start throwing the bombs and the four knives at a time and smoke bombs and all that shit. But that's basically <laughs> what it is. I think if they really push that further and actually said like ninja and incorporated that into the story more that could have been really cool is does he ever look cool he always looks cool he looks my guy looks fucking awesome i have a white all white samurai outfit with gold white sword i have a fucking helmet with uh, reindeer antlers and a red demon mask it's pretty sharp i don't know. know you know what we haven't talked about is the Avengers beta? We all played uh, that now. Yeah, you gonna play more of that tomorrow, Ship? No, because I'm I'm not going to play through all of that again on PlayStation. I, no, I it's, the, it's you can play tomorrow again on the Xbox. Anything you didn't finish? Oh, you can. They yeah. they open it back up for Xbox. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I'm good. I I'm sold on it. I think uh, I quite enjoy it. Oh, good. Wow, I am shocked. It's too human. You like similar. that too? Yeah. No, it's 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 a lot like human. Um, I wish the gear, like Wombat said last time, I wish the gear actually made a visual difference. Hmm. Um, because to me, it's like so far in the beta, I get something and it's got a higher number. Yeah, just go ahead and equip that for me. Yeah, I you, hit, you pull the, you pull the trigger and you move on. It doesn't. It 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 serves no purpose. Unlike the skill tree, which is actually somewhat interesting. Yeah, so I I think from the beta, I think uh, Ms. Marvel is was the clear winner for me. No, it's Black Widow. How dare you? Black Black Widow is okay as well. Yeah. The, but it's Hawk is not fun. I'm sorry, who's Hawk? <laughs> He's not is that like it. Falcon's younger brother? Yes. Oh, He's Hulk. Incredible. He's saying He's Hulk. Hulk. Uh, Hulk. Uh, Hulk. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, the the Incredible Hulk um, <laughs> is is underpowered. He's not so incredible. No, but. I know, and we have yeah. You're so right, a hundred percent. 
<laughs> and I mean, I like having him just hanging out with me. Yeah, having the Hulk behind you is cool. <laughs> That's the problem good. Is is that when you play as the Hulk, you're like, I'm gonna be the Hulk, and I'm just gonna just charge in there, and I'm gonna beat the crap out of everyone because I'm the Hulk. And you charge in there, and you start punching dudes, and some little dude with like a pea shooter is like, pew pew pew, and the Hulk's right. dead. Well, they can fix right. that. They'll fix that. Yeah. Shit. And, well, I and, hope so. But it, it seems like also his specials took like three times longer to charge than Miss Marvel's did. Mm-hmm. And they, it's not like they did anything better. It was just like Miss Marvel was like, oh, yeah, this is fun. I can do these special moves over and over again. Yeah, um, that's the same thing like uh, with Black Widow. She has the she has a gun and you could play it. Literally, you use her like it's a third person shooter and just run around shooting everybody. And her skill tree has like different guns and they don't run out of ammo. You can, And you could switch between her automatic like she is like an Uzi or a pistol or like a high caliber, almost like a sniper round. And it's like, well, this is like a whole, it's like playing a completely different game than trying to play it as the whole. Yeah. That's the weird thing is like they, there's clear characters. I think Ms. Marvel, the traversal is a little bit iffy with her, Mm -hmm. but but it's still better than with, with Hulk. Um, Well, the easiest to traverse with is Iron Man, but he's terrible. He's not, he's He's not terrible. terrible. He's not terrible. You just did you unlock the missiles? No, I didn't care. Well, that's just it. Once you unlock, it doesn't feel like the game was built for him. (laughs) It's it's weird playing as him because he can fly. Right, he can go anywhere on the map at every time, and the map is designed for platforming. And then there's Iron Man. Is like fuck your platforming. Yeah, I'm I'm just just gonna float here. I'm just gonna float here, and (laughs) it's like. And like even the early tutorial where you're you're switching back and forth between all the characters, mm-hmm. I get to the Iron Man portion where you're flying. It's just like, no, this is not fun. But well, you don't do that in the game. You're not doing that in the game. You're perfect. not flying around. Perfect. You're never flying around trying to shoot people. You're on the ground. You're either punching people, and he has a stronger punch than the Hulk. Don't ask me where that makes sense. Right. And they also can fire those missiles, those one-off missiles that he did. Where he can home in on things. Like he could do one missile shots and blow up turrets pretty easy. So whatever. Let me know when they yeah. have the West Coast Avengers. Hawkeye. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna play a lot of this game though. When's I'm Wonder Man coming? Shipwreck, like, Is Wonder Man next? They they there was a leaked list of characters that are com- that are supposedly coming to the game. Like Doctor Strange and Black Panther and basically everyone who was in the movies, Falcon. Right. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God, this this game would have, would be so hyped up right now if this came out a year earlier or two years I, earlier. You know, I know oh my that God. It would I just don't be like the only that. thing that people would be talking about. If it came out like the week after Endgame came out. I mean, like, it would just be on the hype would be off the fucking chart. Yeah. Oh, Darkness posted the leak list. Yeah, I'll put it up on the screen for That's too many people. My God, it's like it's like fifteen characters and they only got like three of these where they were fun to play with. Yeah, Ant Man, the Wasp, Vision, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Falcon, Marvel, Mockingbird, Quake, Winter Soldier, Scarlet Witch, Captain Marvel, Katie Bishop, She Hulk, and Katie Bishop. War Machine. Kate Bishop? Who I'd yeah. never heard of that. She's another Hawkeye. That's what we needed. Wow. I like Kate Bishop. You ever read those comics? I've no. never heard of her. She's the other Hawkeye. She's little Hawkeye. No Mockingbird either. Really? And you just brought up the West Coast Avengers. Well, just... But you don't... she's a founding member of the West Coast Avengers. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> what the fuck do I know? I know Wonder Man. Puck. And we Puck. Got War Machine. I, I... Point being, I think... Avengers is better than I thought it was going to be. Good. Yeah. yeah. Good, good. And I, I'm still fine with my Xbox pre-order because I'm not confident that I want to play. I'm not confident they're going to do Spider-Man justice in that game. I, You know, to be perfectly honest, if they really have the list that, that was leaked, if that's really it, I won't miss Spider-Man. I've played a game of Spider-Man. I don't know if I have to, you know, again, I've never played a game through a game as War Machine. War Machine. Um, James Rose. War, War Machine differs from Iron Man because he's slower. He's, he's got, got big guns on him. Right. More he's guns. got he's got a Gatling gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll but be fun. but Iron Man <clears throat> has like all kinds of stuff as well. Pew, pew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's. Yeah. I, I'm I'm interested because you know those skill trees. I think in the final game there's supposed to be three different of those skill trees. 
So I'm interested to see how many moves you really can unlock for all the different characters. Because as I mentioned, that seemed far more interesting than the gear, which is useless and they should get rid of. So. I, I also know. didn't like, I found opening up chests was not Pointless. to my liking. Like I, I don't need yeah. to go over and open up a chest. Mm -hmm. I agree. There's a lot of unnecessary least, stuff. Like I, Borderlands, I open up a lot of chests in Borderlands. And it like makes you a, happy. A lot of chests. Because but you get something to... that you could see and you can hold in Borderlands. Well, that, and all I have to do is just tap a button and I open up a chest. In this, I have to line up my character and then hold down a button until the chest, like I fill the meter that says, yes, I really, really intend to open this chest. This is what I'm here doing right now. It's like, yeah. If I walk towards a chest, just pop it open and stick it in there. If the number is higher, I, I, I wouldn't mind it so much if when I opened a chest, it did something cool to my character and I got something that I could visually see. But they are looking to monetize those skins so we can't have any visual upgrades while we play the game. And that's the big bummer. That's the bummer with this game. That's the... and, and my pockets don't hold as many as Mac Weldon shorts either. I, yeah. My pockets got full of gear pretty quickly in the baby. Yeah. Gear <laughs> that you don't know what it does or why you want to keep it or yeah. Right. Again, really looking forward to playing this. Right. I know. <laughs> and, and I don't disagree with you either. Like I'm looking forward to the game, but I'm like, eh. -huh. Well, hopefully they take the feedback. I'm sure they're getting a lot of feedback. I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm wondering if that's something though can you can't patch in physical loot. Like the gear in this game isn't <laughs> modular already it's not like you know anthem screwed up and well in many ways but they already had modular gear but you couldn't get it by playing the game like they could have had it so you opened up a chest and got a helmet that did blank to your character but they didn't do that in anthem they just tried to sell you more helmets so i don't know we'll see all right mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh, a lot of people always ask us if we think that the consoles are actually the new consoles are actually going to come out this year because of pandemic and bad economy. But Sony says it's def PS5 is definitely coming out this year. So, yep, in the Macy's in New York City only <laughs> test run. That's what they're going to do. Yep, just like the 1985 Nintendo Entertainment System. Gotcha. Hmm? Uh, let's move on to cheapy, stupid PC, PC, PC corner. Um, here's a game we forgot to talk about in the new releases. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Mm -hmm. That came out on Tuesday. It's because I don't have a PC or the, or, you, you know, don't have a lot of things, but you still talk about them. That's not true. I only talk about War Machine. Right. So I tried to play Microsoft Flight Simulator on my eight year old computer. And that game, I think, needs CPU action, some intense CPU action, because it did not like it. I've never have, I really don't have problems playing games on this computer. It only has problems like doing, if you want to do games and then like stream it, things that require CPU. So I couldn't even get it to really run well at all. I'm on, even on medium, it wasn't looking too good. Um, but I could see, you know, I've seen videos about how it really looks. And I have like a fucking flight stick and everything, but my computer is just, it's not even worth really playing it. But I did, I did check it out and I flew from JFK airport to my house. And that's, that's not like, a long flight. That's like a five minute flight. Yeah, it was fast. It was good. But I crashed <laughs> a couple of times. The funny thing is if your computer sucks, it takes a long time to load, to load up the level, load up the, the world. So when you crash, it's really fucking punishing. Because you gotta wait, like for everything to fucking render up again, and I did crash a lot because they want to slow down and try to find like the landmarks and stuff. But I can't turn up the the detail enough to really. It looks blurry. It looks like Google Maps. It doesn't really look much better than Google Maps, because uh, my shit's too weak. So I need to get a new computer at some point because this shit. It's I can tell it's fucking crazy, and I already have the flight stick. So so there's that. Um. Let's move on to the CAG bag. I have a bunch of questions here from the chat. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Okay. Uh, crazy. The fuck? No, Fox. <laughs> crazy. Fox Hound him. Fox Hound Adam. 
asks, can we get a All wombat? Right, did you have a stroke? <laughs> I did pull a muscle in my shoulder, though. Okay. Anyway, you were saying. Foxhound Adam asks, can we get a wombat family pool update? Did it turn out to be a good purchase? 100% a good purchase. We, we you know, we've had, you know, uh, family over. And it's nice to just kind of lay down in that pool sometimes. Um, I highly recommend if you're going to have any size pool in your backyard that you do spray for mosquitoes, have someone come. Mm. It makes a world of difference. Mm. We did that all summer long, and that sort of was the key to making it really usable. Um, When Elliot got injured, he's not allowed to go swimming yet. So we haven't used it in about almost two weeks, which Mm -hmm. is sort of a bummer. I'm not going to go in there and like, hey, look how much fun I'm having. Right. So, yeah. So, that you know, also it's getting cool out. So there's that. But, right. Yeah. But, yes, I would say all in all, it was a, an exceptional purchase. And I highly Good. recommend getting a shitty pool in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's a question from Redison Spruce. Again, we haven't had a hype train in quite some time. What are Cheapy's thoughts on Harmonic's upcoming DJ game Fuser? It does look cool. But I will tell you now that the DJ technology is so crazy and so accessible that you can buy. I bought a $150, $149 turntable that hooks, it connects to your phone via Bluetooth. And you just download an app and it's almost as good as a laptop at a more expensive turntable. It's pretty crazy. So as good as this harmonics thing could be i would say just get do the real thing at this point it's pretty it's really accessible it's by the real thing you mean just hitting play on spotify that's a beat no i mean i'm talking about mixing songs together like you know you know what i mean don't be a wise ass fucking slap that smile right off your face I like to I like to pretend i'm a dj too i like coming up next uh, go down the highway why who's stopping you from doing that you got a microphone already. You Tommy buy this James thing. and the Shondells with their number one hit, Money Money. So you're great at it. You just need the turntable. True. True, true, true. Anyway, so Fuser's, I'm sure, great because Harmonix makes good music games. So I'm sure it's going to be good, but I don't know. I think you should go for the real thing also. Get both. Why not? You're made of money. All right. What else we got here? Um, Here's one. At 3-1 Philly. Not at. 311 Phillies on Twitch says, are you guys into any tabletop board games or card games? Um, I have Marvel Legendary, and that game's fun. Mm-hmm. I, I played it. No one in my house wants to play it with me, so I have to play it alone. But that's a good game. Okay, can you do that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is solo mode in okay. that. I would like someone to play it with me, but everyone here sucks. Right. Um, And like I mentioned earlier, Cards Against Humanity Family Edition. Which gotcha. we have been playing as a family. I know there have been some issues with Cards Against Humanity as a company lately. <laughs> but my cousin gave us Cards Against Humanity family as a gift. And it's a lot of fun. Actually, I think you guys would really... Well, not Shipwreck. Your kids are too young. But uh, maybe at the Cheapy House, it we would can, be a good time. Yeah, we have a lot of games. We like uh, Ty really likes Sorry. Does that count as a board game? <laughs> that is 100% a board game. Why not? We played that a lot when we were living at Grandma and Grandpa's for mm. for a week when we had no electricity. Nice. We've been playing. We play board games. Maybe we have a board game night maybe once every two weeks. That, but my kids are young, so. Uh, but we played Fireball Island, for the last couple times. Right. Oh, how is it? Are you were able to figure out the rules because there's like a thousand of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we play modified rules, right? Cause, oh, okay. Because I'm playing with a with a six-year-old and a three-year-old just get but, to the roll the dice get to the top of the mountain Is that no no it? we're not that modified we're we're okay. just there's some confusion over like how many gyms you're supposed to take and like what the what the rules are if you knock somebody over that type gotcha. of stuff so we we generally just say everything all the gyms go into the little tomb thing i don't know what it what it is that you put it in and then whoever gets that gets to the copter and you have so many turns to get off the copter. Um, Sounds it's, shitty. It's, it's a fun game. We, oh, okay. we bought the remastered version of it. Mm. I, I, I like to buy a lot of games. Uh, not a lot, but I, I do pick up games that I feel like are like good deals 
that seem like they'd be fun tabletop games and but then i just don't have anybody to play with them right now i understand that feeling yeah hmm? didn't uh mega man 1421 asked if you guys didn't you guys back a marvel game yep hmm? did yeah i did the i did the shipping version where i get all the the stretch goal stuff with the final game so i'm not going to get it until next year so whatever I'll, i think I'll i did wait. the same i don't yeah. I, I don't have it yet so oh, yeah so I'll get it when I get it. But yes, I they've been sending some update emails, so I know it it's finished and they've been shipping some of it out. But nice. Whatever. All right. I think it's uh I think it's time to wrap it up cuz it's 79 degrees in here. That's too hot. Let's <clears throat> remind everybody to go to feels.com/cadcast to get 50% off your first order with free shipping. Follow us on Twitter at GBD at New Wombat at Shipwreck at Video Game Deals. What else? Um, I think that's it. We're gonna don't go anywhere because we're gonna raid Jimmy Mac. And I think what we need to do is everybody needs to go in there with wombat emojis and just wombat in his area because it'll it's a good troll and it'll be fun and he won't he'll, he won't know how to react. For some reason he doesn't like wombat. I don't know why. Uh, I don't either. I'm lovable. I know. So get the wombat emojis ready. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's it. But it's done. Oh, I got to stop streaming. <gasps> oh, man. 